CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. She's out of designer. She's got the cool computer upstairs and a big giant monitor and all that. But... What? Who's this guy? Greg? Yeah. K6 CWC. K6 CWC. What the heck? How'd you get up here? I don't know. I just walked. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, Greg and I are at the trailhead for... Pinion Ridge. Pinion Ridge. This is Sierra Delta 082, right? Yep. Delta I've never done it. Um, we're up here in the kind of the high desert. We've got a bunch of peaks around us. Um, Hot Springs is right over here. And yeah, you, well. yep. you can see Palomar Mountain over there. Got Ray on the uh, on this road trip here. She's totally stoked, ready to go. So yeah, we're gonna get to, we're gonna get cracking out here. Got that foot travel only. When was the last time you were here, Greg? It, it was like less than a month ago, probably. Okay. It's January still, right? No, it's February. So it's been, uh, maybe it's been like five weeks. I get the points, is what I'm saying. We had no problem getting out here since Greg knows it by heart. He's just out here. Well, what's cool is no one's gonna be on this peak either. You know, it's off the trail. <laughs> and the dog is having a ball. There's some really big animal tracks out here. Like those ones that are kind of deep. There is a deer carcass up by the peak. Okay. So something's eating something up here. All right, so it's it's like that high point there? I think so. Okay. Because there's a couple, we do we go over a couple ridges, and then we get off trail and kind of go up some rocks a little bit, and that's kind of it. Okay. Hmm. Ray's loving it. And it gets it gets more scenic when you get closer too. It's just, it's kind of a cool area. So how long have you, uh, how long have you been doing ham radio? So I got a license back in 2011. Ah. But I didn't do anything with it. <laughs> okay. So I was one of those things where I took the tech exam. I thought I'll come back next week and do the general. Cause I was a radio guy, right? In the military. Okay. And uh, then, you know, 10 years later, I finally took my general. <laughs> kind of thing. Got a radio, <laughs> or got an HF radio anyway. So yeah, there was a bit of a uh, non-airtime hiatus, I guess, for 10 years or so. Okay. So it kind of got me into it. Okay. You know? When you started doing like soda, it. when did you start doing soda? Say again? When did you start doing summits on the air? Just in 2021 time frame. Nice. Yeah, so I like to hike. I like messing around with radios. It's perfect. There you have it. <laughs> That's basically the intersection. Summits on the air. Exactly. For activators, you can drive up to some summits and stuff, but just getting outdoors is great, isn't it? Absolutely. I'm hiking anyway, might as well bring a radio. Yeah. Yeah, I was up on, I was up on uh, Baden-Powell and this guy saw me and my co-hiker. He goes, oh, you guys do ham radio? And so we explained, yeah, do this thing called Summits on the Air. And <laughs> he's a ham operator. I was like, well, Jesus, should have brought my Radio. I said, yeah. So, and if you're a chaser, by the way, you hear people calling out on 146.52, whatever. Give them a call. They need your contacts, and you don't have to log anything if you don't want to. If you want the points, you do. But anyway, it helps people out. Everybody gets a contact. 
Ray knows exactly where we're going. We'll just follow her to the summit, right? <laughs> Beautiful day. I'd say it's what, about 65 or something right now? That's yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's just absolutely perfect. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be out here in August. Yeah. <laughs> Heck no. I don't care, even if it does have summer bonus, I'm not a summer bonus kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take the winter bonus on a dry year. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Action. we're surrounded by, we're surrounded <laughs> by a soda, soda peaks. That's whale, straight out that direction. Ah, yes. Okay, that's grapevine. Okay, been right there. there. That's granite. Okay. And then there's Stonewall Peak sticking out, just barely sticking out right there. That's Cuyamaca. I think Middle Peak. Middle maybe, Peak is just to the yeah. right of it. And yep. then you can't really see it, but the, the Volcan Mountain High Point's over that direction, but it's kind of okay. hard to see, I think. Interesting. Oh, and San Felipe High Point's right there, but you can't see it either. All right, which I haven't done that one. I haven't done Vulcan either. But I was a little bit turned around and Greg started pointing out all these summits like, geez, I just didn't realize how close. Uh, and K6CWC is up in Julian. So he's just surrounded by all these. He's got a great location for getting into some of these nice summits up here. So, yeah. Unfortunately, nothing higher than six points in the, in the county though. Yeah, I'll take it though. Oh, in the other direction, like we're coming around this, the bend, you'll be able to see Rabbit Villager Peak ah, on, the, okay. on the left. Yes, and I have not done either one of those. Me neither. Not sure I ever will. I hear they're pretty darn tough. But grapevine, like I said in the video, I'll put a link to it below. That was, that was probably one of the tougher two-pointers I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna work for those two points on that one. Yeah. So we're heading up there. It's all good. How many times have you done this one, Greg? This will be three. Okay. It'll be your first one for me, so unique. Add it to my unique list. Um, and I think it's, you said four points today? Four points. All right. I'll take those. I mean, no, we don't do this for the points. We do it for our ego. <laughs> By the way, if you want to see my ego get even bigger, and who doesn't want to see that? Hit the like and subscribe. Like a white ice cream cone. Yeah, a little white ice cream cone up there, the Palomar Observatory. We're headed this way, however, uh, getting into the usual really cool rock formations up here. There's our summit. We don't need to get to the top of that guy. I just need to be within 80 vertical feet of it. I'm gonna actually look over here and see, there might be a good area to set up antennas near the top, but maybe toward that ridge. So where are you gonna set up? Uh, not here, somewhere else. Maybe, well, maybe I'll hit the wire up one of those rocks and run it down or something. Sounds good. We'll see. All right, coordination on 146.55. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna grab my uh, HP. All right. Cool. Anyway, we are at the summit. Uh, there's Greg setting up his off that rock there. Um, I'll set up over here and just run the wire. And um, looking out to the east right here, swinging around to the south. Some great views off here. What's that little town down there, Greg? Uh, Shelter Valley. Shelter Valley, okay. Yeah. Ray's loving it. She loves to be on the highest rock around. So yeah, all right, so we're gonna set up here and see if we can get done. All right. So, beautiful view out of the shack here. Uh, the valley over here and some mountains. Um, you're just looking into the rocks here. Um, and we got the dog up there <laughs> looking down on me. So, we're gonna get on the air here at 40 meters. Uh, no. David's at 10114. Let's go chase David. Using the K6ARK kit and uh, fed random wire. So change frequencies, hit the ATU, and get on the air. 
There he is. and bopping. What the heck is that? All right. That's pretty bougie. <laughs> Look at this guy sitting over there on that rock. That's bloody awesome. That is a great operating position. <laughs> right, I'm over here at the operating position of K6 and CWC, the master, up on this rock. Great operating position. He's working K... Working KR7 RK. Got him. Summit to summit. Check out this antenna. He's got a NFED. What is this? NFED what? Halfway 40. NFED halfway 40. Check out this guy. He's got tied to his um, hiking pole here. Good idea. And then he's. He's done the, uh, goes way the heck up there on that rock. Kind of coming across this little gulch here <laughs> over to this rock where he's sitting. So great little operating position. This is very cool. Um, you want to see something even cooler though, check out his view. He's got all of this, man. This is pretty cool. And he's just been over here cranking it. All right. Well, we're just getting ready to desummit here. We started desummiting, and I wanted to ask Greg, uh, let's see, how many contacts did you get? 15-ish, uh, maybe? 15. Uh, bunch, bunch of, like 10 summits to summit, so, or, no, not that many. I gotta look. He's gotta look. I got 27 and 12 summit to summits. It was a pretty good day for summit to summits. We did wait around 
for this operator, Amy, you know who you are. He started at, she started at 10 meters, then went to 12, and then I think 15. But when she got down to 20 meters, like boom, I think we were her first contact or second, as soon as she hit 20 meter. Um, Greg and I both got her. So that was cool. All right, it's 16 and nine, some of the summits. 16 and nine, all right. We're taking a little bit different way down, uh, the way I charted. Um, I'll put the map up here, but um, we came up a little bit different way uh, that Greg's done before, so we did that, and I thought, hey, let's try this one that I kind of charted just to see, you know, if that would work better for the next one. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing. Let me look at the chart. I think I think I had to look at the chart and stop getting lost. <laughs> All right, just about back. Vehicle. Found a, uh, I say the route back was, I don't know if it was any better. Maybe a tiny bit. But, good time up there. It's time to um, head out and get a beer, right? Absolutely. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all the chasers and other uh, activators out there. That was a lot of fun. And um, if you want to learn more about the hobby, go to hamninja.com slash SOTA360. Whole bunch of stuff for activators and chasers. So with that, 73, let's roll the credits. So take two, I have no idea where that last one came out because the camera locked up.